is important to draw wisdom from many different places. Yes! If we take it from only one yes! place, it becomes rigid and stale. Understanding others, the other elements, and the other nations will help you become whole. When I first dreamed of going to college, I thought it would be like a scene from Gilmore Girls. Living in the dorms and having roommates and going to the dining halls and finding your study spot under the perfect tree and meeting cute boys and maybe not stealing a boat and dropping out of college, but you get the point. I thought of Pitch Perfect and finding your weird but new crazy friend group or club that would be with you throughout college. I thought about Legally Blonde and frat parties and sororities and petty drama and people actually aspiring to do something with their lives. Getting into UF signified the start of something new for me. The light at the end of the torture tunnel that was high school and the beginning of learning what I actually wanted to learn. It meant moving away from home and getting exactly what I had wanted. Dorms and roommates and dining halls and sororities and friends. It meant football games and singing Won't Back Down with 90,000 people and frat parties and gator chomps. It meant weekend trips to the springs and thrifting and exploring a new city. It meant my whole world was going to change. What I actually got was so much more and less than I had imagined. I started my freshman year in the dorms with roommates going to dining halls and fitness classes and being a member of clubs and going to parties and concerts, eating lunch in Plaza and studying in Marston and trips to Wingstop and matching Christmas pajamas and single birthday cupcakes and weekly ELP meetings. And COVID happened and it all ended. I finished my freshman year and started my sophomore year from my bedroom in the same town that I had tried to escape learning how to be okay with being alone and even to welcome it. When I moved back to campus in the fall of my sophomore year, again to a dorm, I had the same roommate, but everything else was different. Classes that would have been in lecture halls were moved to my computer screen. Football games with 90,000 fans were replaced with cardboard cutouts and bleachers while a team played on the field. Weekly dining hall trips were replaced with weekly COVID spit tests. Exploring Gainesville was more crucial than ever, and Rachel and I explored almost every bit of it that we could. From the Springs, to Oleno, to Payne's Prairie, to random spots off the road overlooking a lake, to Depot Park, to Yulee Pit, to Plaza of the Americas, and so much more. Some things were still the same though. My career goals remaining in focus as I studied and passed my CNA exam, and started a job at a hospital and got accepted into my upper division major. In junior year, classes transitioned back to in-person and I got to meet my health science cohort. I was so excited for in-person classes and the opportunity to meet new people and make friends and go to football games and frat parties and have a real college experience again. Overwhelming myself with dance marathon and working and school to fill up all the holes that COVID had left in my college career. Exploring new cities like Boston and Atlanta and going to museums and concerts and getting a tattoo and doing all the things that I wasn't sure I would be able to do again. Trips back and forth to home saying hello and goodbye to family each time. Senior year was a bag of mixed emotions, realizing that everything was happening for the last time. My last first day of classes, my last transform today, and my last final, my last day of classes and my last main event same time I had so many firsts. My first Friendsgiving, my first birthday party, my first new friends, my first time showing someone my hometown since freshman year, my first sign night, my first time being on exec for a club, my first time going to an entire season of football games alone and finding people to befriend. Senior year was the college experience that I had imagined when I was in high school. I pushed myself out of my comfort zone and sat next to new people and learned new games and tried new drinks and started a new job and embraced my seniority. I truly YOLO'd it and it was probably the best thing that I could have done. To UF.
Thank you for some of the best and worst experiences of my life. Thank you for the late night tears and early morning giggles and the midday laughs. Thank you for the health science library where I watched all of Catching Fire while studying for an exam and spent hundreds of hours sort of studying with friends. Thank you to Beatty for introducing me to dorm life in a cushy way and for giving me some pretty good remakes. Thank you to RoomSync for introducing me to my best friend and twin flame and four year roommate. Thank you to Rachel for putting up with me for so many years and for hopefully so many more. Thank you to my mom for daily walking home from work phone calls and crying, snotting on the floor, FaceTime calls and proofreading countless essays and assignments and silly welcome home dances and pushing me to be the best that I can be every day. I love you all.